Daniel Bausch is the Senior Director of Emerging Threats and Global Health Security um, at FIND, the Global Alliance for Diagnostics. And he's also part of the WHO team on Emergency Committee on Monkeypox. And he joins me now from Geneva, Switzerland. Thanks so much for being on the programme tonight, sir. Yeah, thank you. Evening, Bianca. So you were part of the decision to designate monkeypox a global health emergency. Can you explain some of the working behind that decision? So it was a very difficult deliberation that went on for many hours, not because anyone um, would say that this not, is not a very important event. Um, we debated a lot what the advantages and disadvantages were in terms of perhaps adding stigma to this disease, um, also the thought that people might mistake this as, uh, if we call it a global health emergency, that it's another COVID, which it certainly is not. But ultimately, um, Dr. Tedros and the committee felt that this was the right designation, and so that's where we are. And I think it's not so important to say whether it is or not this particular designation, but really galvanizing the support to control the outbreak. And so previously, monkeypox outbreaks have occurred, but usually in quite small clusters outside of Africa. What do you know about the mutations of this monkeypox that's spreading? Well, this is a different sort of virus, again, comparing with COVID, which is an RNA virus. Those viruses tend to mutate more readily. A monkeypox is a DNA virus that doesn't mutate very readily, those sorts of viruses. So this is probably unlikely to be something related to a new mutation or something you know, different about the virus. It's more probably social and uh, socially driven in terms of behavior and context that people have rather than the biology of the virus. So how... That being said, how is this strain more transmissible and how do you test that? So I don't know if we would say that this strain is necessarily more transmissible. This is a virus that, again, not as transmissible as COVID. We know how this is transmitted by close physical contact. That can include sexual contact, but it doesn't have to be sexual contact. And so if you get that, uh, that this particular virus into any population that has close contacts, there's going to be a lot of transmission. And that's where we are right now with some segments of the, the men who have sex with men population having those sorts of contacts and driving transmission in those populations. It's not necessarily necessarily a disease that is unique to one sexual orientation, but it happens to be in, in that group right now. And is there evidence that people can be contagious without symptoms? Because not, I mean, not to be crude, but I'm slightly confused as to why thousands of people might be having prolonged skin-on-skin -skin contact when they're feeling ill and covered in lesions, pox and, and scabs. It seems like a sort of unlikely yeah. thing to want to be well, doing in that scenario? Yes and no. Um, one of the things that we've seen in this outbreak, because many of the cases are actually are quite mild, and so the photos which many people have seen that from Sub-Saharan Africa, people with lesions all over their body, as you just described, you know, scabs, uh, obviously mm -hmm. that's not a, a situation where people would be having much sexual contact. But many of the cases are quite mild. Um, there can be some transmission early on. We don't have evidence right now. There's ongoing research, but we don't have evidence of transmission prior to the onset of symptoms. So um, I think, again, it's probably not that there's anything particularly new or drastically different about this virus from what we knew before. It's in different circles than we've been used to, and, and we're still trying to figure out how the best way is to, to cope with that. If it's much milder, is it plausible that you could have monkeypox and not be aware that you have a virus? Yeah, we're, we're still um, looking into that. There's still research going on about whether you can have, we would call it asymptomatic virus, asymptomatic infection. So a person is infected and doesn't know it. Um, that There's no evidence that exists right now. Again, research is ongoing. We're learning a lot because there's so many cases and, and new things to learn. But again, it should be, you know, I want to be clear that this is not a virus like COVID, for example, or some mm -hmm. others that are easily spread be between people. You definitely have to have close physical contact to pick up monkey bugs.